happy Friday. Uh, I don't have the day off, so let's get to it. Um, decided to, um, uh, Williams. So, never used it. Have, uh, many of these pucks passed through my hands. Um, and I'm just, if you know me, I'm into the, the, I'm a sucker for gimmicks, right? So, like, labels and what's new and what's a small manufacturer and, uh, so I never, I don't, I'm not a vintage, vintage type of guy. Um, yes, I do have a, a couple vintage razors, but you see what I use. It's not usually the old stuff, but, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Opus X on uh, the Shaving Cadre started this uh, trick or treat thing last year, I believe, which is kind of cool. You could just, he's way into Halloween um, and decided in October he would do a cadre trick or treat. So if you, you just post that my house has three treats and then people can sign up and you send them what you like. So I didn't do it last year. I figure I've been the beneficiary of more than enough stuff. Uh, plus I'm going to win the next bingo game. So I don't want to get too greedy, but, um, Mr. Milk Crate, <laughs> that's the best username ever, Milk Crate, Tim on the Shaving Cadre, uh, did it, and I, so I signed up for his, um, and so I'm gonna use, uh, some of what he sent me and some stuff that I had, so, anyway, uh, he sent me an Old Spice mug, very cool, I don't have one of those, um, so thank you, I, this, it's weird, like, obviously, uh, yeah, I don't have a problem buying stuff, but there's some things that just get a mental block, like, people post buying these, and they'll collect, like, a bunch of them, and I think, well, that's cool. I should have one of those. And But it's been one of the things I held off. Like, I don't want, need to start down the road and have a whole bunch of uh, Old Spice mugs and stuff. So, thank you, sir. My first one. Um, and a 3D printed Old Spice topper for it, which is pretty cool. All the rage now. Um, and the Williams. It's been it's been soaking in there. Let's pour out the... Whoa. whoa. Got a lot of water in the bottom. Uh, Use that. Use that on. Now I didn't know. I thought I had read somewhere a long time ago that uh, really the first use of this stuff you need to soak it pretty good. So I did, I had the whole thing buried in water um, while I was shaving. Certainly didn't hurt it. I didn't pour most of the water off, but I had enough here to to pre lather my face with whatever. I'm using a, again, talking about old time your history. This is education history. That's the name of this brush. I, I named it education history because gray dog <clears throat> on the cadre uh, made it out of a hundred year old bean in a schoolhouse. So that's pretty cool. So I never, I don't know if you can see in the, can you see way in the mug? There's some little fins on the very bottom this puck is just a little bit smaller than catching those, but, um, <clears throat> excuse me, anytime, you know, you've got a puck in a, in the mug, after the first time you use it, you're going to get a little bit of soap lather down in there, and then it's going to, it's going to stick pretty good. It's, so I'm getting a lather built up, and it's just <laughs> going all over the side of the puck, and now it's holding it in place. We'll see. Um, might almost treat this more like a shave stick and just put the loading on my face and, uh, I did watch a couple videos hoping to see if I could catch, uh, somebody mentioning that you need to soak it. I didn't, uh, but, uh, one guy just took the puck and rubbed it on his face like a shave stick, so... And then, uh, I know KJ Spider, he'll just hold it in his hand and, and load from his hand. I guess very versatile. All right, well, that's, let's see, I think I could probably use a little more water. So that's interesting, you know, shave stick also is something I didn't use for a long, long time. Um... <clears throat> And somebody sent me, I still don't buy them. I don't know why. There's stuff like that that uh, when I use it, I think, well, this is really efficient. You don't need a bowl. 
lathers pretty well. I do enjoy face lathering. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. A lot of soap don't come in a shave stick. I guess it's part of it. So he also sent me this Super Speed, which I've loaded up with a Wisdomit blade. It's the first time using this baby. Hmm. Pretty good. It's a noisy one. And if I had Major Rich's mic on, you could have to turn down in your volume. Pretty good shave, though. You didn't... He didn't remember the date code, so I guess I need to get out my phone and try to zoom in and take a picture so I know what year this guy is from. <clears throat> so yeah, that's pretty, so t uh, Tim sent me this stuff and a little bottle of spirits, if you will. Get it, because trick or treat. All in spirits. It was <clears throat> funny because my wife did not know what I was unboxing. And uh, he put in a bunch of the eyeball uh, gum gumballs in the top. So I <clears throat> cut open the top of this box. And I grab a couple of these things and set them on the table. And she's like, what the heck? And grab a few more. And grab a few more. So what, did you, what did you get? So thank you, Tim. Very cool. Very cool. So this stuff is pretty slick, actually. I mean, it doesn't, I guess that's the thing. It's like, uh, you know, back in the day. So one of the videos, I'm sure I'll get the date wrong. So that this soap has been produced, I know they've changed the formula over the years, but since 1840 or something, it was just discontinued like last year or something. So. <clears throat> Thankfully, I think KJ owns about half of the world supply of it, so he'll be okay. But, uh, Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a good addition. Just change things up. Something new in the day. Um, so speaking of, wow, put some water on it and that's really slick. I think I could, I could do this last pass without even lathering again. Um, so I think I'll probably have more lather the next time. I mean, <clears throat> if I wasn't, there's all sorts of lather, like I said, around the edge of this puck. So probably the next time I lather it, I'll end up with more on the brush. But it doesn't need it. <clears throat> Super slick as it is. Um, yes, there's a bingo game. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> it's just morning crud. Man, I wish I was kind of sick. I could stay home. I just want to stay home, man. Um, <clears throat> an interesting bingo game that actually I think uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, where we, it's like uh, playing a uh, battleship. So you got a bingo card sent to you and you put three ships on it. And you set the rules for, you know, what size and how they go and stuff. And then... <clears throat> the players post bingo calls hoping to sink, you know, that it lands on somebody else's ships. And as the game goes on, you know, people's ships get hit and opposite of a normal bingo game where you want the hits in the right spot, you don't. Whoever, whoever's, just like a battleship, whoever's left standing with a ship left, last one with a ship left, wins the game. That's pretty inventive. We'll see how that goes. First time doing one like that. And then, uh, 
So if you're interested in that, the first calls don't start till Monday. So you got a couple days to to sign up if you're gonna do the bingo game. So they did just close, I believe it's closed now that <clears throat> sign up through the Christmas the Secret Santa or Rudolph Exchange, whatever the heck we're calling it. Somehow I think Barbara will Dave will rig it so I have him again. Last year I sent him this cool uh, custom made wood sign. <clears throat> he used to have it on his wall, but then they went and changed the logo. So he needs a new sign. Oh man, I wouldn't. I, I, <laughs> it's fine. I wouldn't do it, but I just had a thought it'd be hilarious to have one that's like kind of. <clears throat> looks like something that would be in the, the candy store. We even do like. This would be like ombres and then like two little women like, you know, pushed up against the sign with their little <laughs> Oh, that'd be funny. He wouldn't use it. Funny though. <sighs> Let's get going. Let's get going. Um, so alum, I, I don't have, I'm going to use, I got to, I always do want to do my post shave routine because that's what protects the money maker. But um, <clears throat> on the Williams mug package, I think it's on this flap. I don't have my glass on, but it says to use Aqua Velva. Can I hold it far away? Aqua Velva aftershave lotion. And I just, I heard on the two videos, they're reading the packages and, and talking about using Aqua Velva. They didn't mention the lotion part. I'm like, oh, hey, I got some of that. I think this one... Man, sometimes I feel bad because I don't have a good rememberer. And folks on the cadre are super nice. So sometimes I forget where stuff comes from and then you feel bad about that. I was going to, my old timey shave, I've got this uh, V's Barbershop tonic that uh, somehow was in a piff box or something. Um, I don't use it very often, but to me this is like old timey barbershop smell. My wife doesn't like it though, but I think Rich sent me this Aqua Velva Original Sport. And apparently this was, I don't know if it's discontinued or just hard to find or something like that. Um, but, so it's not Aqua Velva Lotion, but I figure this goes along with the old timey shave. And like they say, it does remind you of your grandpa shaving or, or what have you. I was gonna, I was gonna put this, oh. Is there pine in there? Is that is this supposed to be like sport? Like uh, there's no mountains on here. Expect, oh no, vetiver. It's kind of sharp, dude. Kind of sharp. Oh, you know what I forgot? Well, sorry, man. Will this be the only time I have used two in one in every home shave for forever? But I think we flew right past that. So per the contract, this guy, this guy doesn't get a plug this time. Sorry, buddy. Um, vetiver, vetiver, vetiver. We need something that's gonna stink through the day though. You don't want any, uh, so vetiver fatal. Uh, Atelier Cologne. That should, that should be a good match for a Aquavilla Sport. That's what I'm saying. Alrighty. There we go. I uh, hope you have a good Friday. Here comes the weekend. Thank you, Tim. See you on the forum.